Now let us talk about coefficient of mutual induction. We have studied that mutual induction is defined for a pair of coils. Say if these are the two coils which are placed near to each other. This say coil one, this two. If a current I one flows through the first coil, we know that a magnetic flux phi one is developed in it. And if the coefficient of self induction of first coil is L one, here we can write. Flux length in coil one is this phi one. We can write as L one I one. And when the flux is developed in the coil, here we can see that some flux will also pass through the second coil as it is placed nearby. So we can directly write that if flux length With the second coil or coil two, due to current in coil one is phi two. This is the flux phi two, which is linked with the second coil due to the current in first coil, which is I one. Then we can write phi two is directly proportional to I one because here phi two is proportional to phi one. And phi one is obviously proportional to I one, so we can always write phi two will directly depend on the value of I one. Here we can write phi two as m I one, where m is a proportionality constant between the flux linked with the second coil and the current flowing through the first coil. Here, m is called coefficient of Mutual induction for the given pair of coils. This you should keep in mind. And here the value of m. We can also write that the value of m depends on. Flux linkage between the two coils. About this, uh, we'll uh, study in detail about uh, mutual induction and its correlation with self inductions also in upcoming sections. But right now, you should keep one thing in mind that uh, the flux which is linked with the second coil will be directly proportional to current I one. And similar to self-induction, mutual induction is defined where m is the coefficient of mutual induction, which relates the current in one coil with the flux linkage of the other coil.